traffic characteristics. If you know the characteristics of network traffic that you are handling, it is one step ahead than having no idea about traffic in your network before you improve the quality or communication of your network. Voice traffic it is predictable and smooth and very sensitive to delays and drop packets. Voice packets must receive a higher priority than other type of traffic, especially data traffic. And a voice can tolerate a certain amount of latency, jitter and loss without any noticeable effect. But the latency should be no more than 150 milliseconds. Jitter should no more than 30 milliseconds and the packet loss no more than 1%. So voice traffic require at least 30 kilobits per second bandwidth to deliver acceptable communication. So it should be smooth, it is drop sensitive, delay sensitive and it is using UDP protocol because of that you need priority to handle this voice traffic when it comes to the video video traffic tends to be unpredictable inconsistent and bursty compared to voice video is less resilient to loss and has a higher volume of data per packet the number and size of video packets vary in every 33 milliseconds based on the content of the video so latency should be no more than 400 milliseconds. Jitter should be no more than 50 seconds. And video packet loss should be no more than 1% like voice. Video traffic required at least 384 kilobits per second bandwidth, so which is more than 10 times than the voice bandwidth requirement. Data will be used for this application communication so data applications that have no tolerance for data loss such as email and web pages because they are using transmission control protocol in the transport layer to ensure all the packets are transferred properly from source to destination some tcp applications can consume a larger portion of network capacity like FTP so data traffic is smooth in most of the cases but in some cases it will be bursty it is drop insensitive and delay insensitive because we have TCP retransmission mechanism and most of the time data will be used TCP protocol to encapsulate the data in the transport layer so does the data come from an interactive application is the data mission critical? So those are really important questions to be asked. If interactive applications, we have to consider about the quality lot than the conventional data communication. If it is mission critical data, which is coming from the interactive applications, you have to prioritize for the lowest delay of all data traffic for a one to two second response time when it comes to the quality of the communication.